Good morning ladies and welcome back to today's episode. My name is Mille Pettersson and today we're going perch fishing. This is up next. Always when it comes to fishing, when you crack the code, that's the adrenaline rush that we're searching. And now we just crack the code. Oh, what a strike. Oh my God, what a strike. It's either it's a small jack or it's a sander or a huge ass perch. It's approved by perch, sander, pike and even a little roach. This day has had it all, man. Crazy day. Absolutely freaking crazy. Welcome back to today's episode, guys. Uh, my name is uh, Mille Pettersson and uh, today we're out perch fishing for once because uh, as all of you guys probably already know who have watched our uh, episodes earlier know that we really do love uh, pike fishing but now it's in the middle of the summer and the pike fishing is really slow at the moment so we thought why don't we just go out and try something a little bit new so today I brought my I just purchased, uh, purchased this rod and I'm gonna try it out and see if we can have some action on small jigs today. We're gonna catch so many perch today that it's important to stay hydrated at all times. So as you can see here, this is just 100 meters from our spot, but it's pending between 14 and 15 meters over here. So we have a lot of bait fish here on the bottom, but let me know in the comments since you guys know that I'm not too much of a perch fisherman, is it possible to catch them on 14 meters? Because I don't know. Okay, let's go. And what you see on the screen is most probably herring because we're fishing in the Scandinavian archipelago. Okay, so just arrived here to the first spot. And no, please confirm. That looks perfect. Put in the trolling motor. We just found the first first place here that we think holds some big perch. We have been going forth and back, forth and back with the sonar, trying to look up for some hard bottom. And now we found a place where it's like six meters and just a couple of meters to our left here, we have uh, quite a lot of bait fish. And we think we actually saw some perch as well. Uh, the combo I'm gonna be using today is a simple bait casting reel and a Gunke Iron T rod. This is, uh, like I already said, I'm not a pro fisherman, at least for perch. So this is what I've heard is a good combo. So now we're gonna try it out and see if we can get any big perch over here. So let's go. So as you can see over here, we have a really hard bottom over here. There's no structure or anything, but here just as we speak, we have a lot of bait fish that just came in over here. So there's bait fish in the area and we think we saw some perch over to our left. So now we're gonna take our first cast and see if we can get anything. So as always, to eternity and beyond. There we go. So today we're fishing for many perch. We're not looking for one giant because we're fishing on the wrong waters for that but it's it actually is possible to go out fishing without you don't have to catch your new personal best all the time because if you only focus on that i think you're gonna lose the love of fishing so today we're just gonna go out me and my good friend robin and we're gonna try to have some fun fishing can you imagine i'm not saying that we're gonna catch the biggest of them all today but we are gonna have fun fishing simple as that and here's my good friend Robin Malmberg who's gonna help me with everything today. The water is so warm at the moment, so the perch are probably going down close to the bottom. So that's why we're twitching and letting it sink. Twitching, letting it sink. Twitch a few times, let it sink. Twitch a few times, let it sink. Yeah, you get the deal. So just drifting along this shore. Casting, 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 casting. Searching for perch. No contact so far. We're fishing in July, so there should be perch over here. But if we don't manage to find perch out here in the deep water, we have a small bay that we're gonna go into. See if we find some perch in there. So we've fished this place for an hour now, we have zero contact and I'm not so used to that when it comes to perch fishing because it's much easier to get a lot of numbers when fishing for perch than fishing for pike. But we're gonna try one more spot before going to lunch 
and then we're just gonna we're just gonna go with the sonar and see if we find anything nice. Then we're gonna spot lock over there. That doesn't deliver. We're screwed. But we have a lot of hours more, so we, I'm sure we're gonna get some before going home today. Uh, this spot is uh, a bit deeper than the rest. E everything else here is three meters, but we found a place where we have five meters. We don't see too much bait fish on the bottom, but there should be perch around there. So let's go get them before taking some lunch. So let's go. Two hours later. So the wind has really picked up here, as you probably can hear. So we're just seeking shelter back in there where me and my good friend Robin are going to eat some nice looking pizza. So this is how to tackle a bad day of fishing. Look at that. It's gonna be perfect. Yummy, yummy. Mm. So this looks like Pepsi. It's not, it's actually coffee. It's not too easy to drink out of this. Get you up in the morning at least. But now we've had, uh, had that pizza was really good. But we're not only here for the pizza, we're here for some uh, perch action as well. So now we're just gonna go with the freaking sonar till we find some perch. It's it's uh, it's not going according to our plans so far, but now we're gonna get them. I'm 100% sure we're gonna find some perch now. So let's go, baby. Not burn my tongue. Yeah, that's fish straight away. Oh man, look at that. Look at that, look at that drop off went from uh, one meter to like five meters in an instant and this is perch this is so much perch so we're gonna spot lock up over here so that we can fish down on the perch in this strong wind and now I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're gonna smoke him so now we're standing like 10 meters uh, above the, the deep hole that we just found now it's freaking game time ladies so now, ladies and gentlemen, this is how to catch a perch. Let it sink to the bottom. Oh, fish on, baby! Fish on, straight away! There we go, man. And this combo is so sweet, I can tell you. And there we have the first fish of the day. A nice little perch. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That was just how to catch a perch. That was a good beginning of the new place and the new allure. Prototype. See if we can catch another one. I just love it when you have the sonar and you see something interesting and you stop there and it turns out to be a massive loads of fish. Nothing beats that, man. See if we can catch another one. I just hope you guys can't feel it through the screen, but I just hope you could because this rod has some nice action to it. Man, if it keeps coming up like this, we're gonna fill the live well in no time at all. And that's number dos, babies! Ah, uh, yeah! You know what? This is only a 12 gram head. The wind is so strong, so I'm gonna change to a heavier head. So I'm gonna move it up to a 20 gram football head. I'm gonna see if I can uh, if I can get more contact to the bottom with the bottom. So now I'm gonna do like this. Put on the money shad, monkey shad, just like that, and we're good to go. I'm just gonna trim this tag end off a little bit. All the way down there, but it was really good that I changed to the 20 gram because now I can feel everything that happens. Oh no! Fish on! Fish on, fish off, fish on, fish off. Oh! Man, perch fishing with this light gear is the freaking goat, man. This is so much fun. <laughs> you get a you get a pretty decent fight. Oh, look at this one. 
That's a really nice fish on the foot, footy head. There we go. So that's how a perch should look like, folks. On the 20 gram jig head, it stands like this on the bottom. Worked wonders, baby. Whoa. There she goes with the rest of our gang, and now we're off to the next one. Okay, so it has been dead for a few moments once again. But here, I hope you guys can see the current just came back. It switches every every 30 minutes or so. And we're gonna see if we find some fish again. We are there. Oh, what a strike. Oh my God, what a strike. Man. Oh, what the heck? Um, I'm not sure, but that's not the one we were looking for. A nice big roach. Tobe would have gone crazy about this one. But here's... Oh, Robin just lost one. We're not gonna eat that one. Man, it's so cool that now when the current changed, it has been going away from us once again, but now it switched. And once I hooked a roach, and Robin just took the small perch. Oh, fish on, baby! Yeah, man. Now we know for a fact that that's the case. When the current is going towards us, I think this is a little pike, so let's hope she doesn't break me off. Maybe get the net, I think. Oh, look, it's a sander. Yeah, baby. Woo <laughs> look at that, guys. Always when it comes to fishing, when you crack the code, that's the adrenaline rush that we're searching. And now we just crack the code. And I'm so freaking happy. There she goes. The easily my personal best center because I've never fished it before. Okay. So Robin just got bit, his uh, jig was just bit off by a pike. So he said, well, now it's revenge time and put a leader and uh, I think it's a guppy or something on it. <laughs> and it's a decent pike as well. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's quite good actually. Should we take the net? Uh, yeah, I think so. Or what do you say? Oh, that's a nice fish. So now we have pike, we have sander, we have perch, we have roach. Let's do it like this, man. It's quite long actually. Oh yeah, let's take the net. I think it's a meter pipe. Do you think? Maybe. Oh, take it a bit to the left. I'm gonna try... Oh, fuck me, that's big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus, man. Okay, so I, I threw my jig like on the other direction where we have a little perch and uh, it just said someone's something snapped my line and took the jig so i was pretty confident probably a pike yeah probably a pike yeah and uh, so i wanted revenge and put it on a, a pike lure instead and the uh, first cast just took my lure and it was a quite decent pike a pretty decent pike on the guppy baby the guppy color laban it just wanted it so bad that's how we freaking rock, man. Okay. Look, some nasty spawning scars as well. But that's a giant. Let's get the measurements on her. And she is 100 and... 102 maybe? 102, I think. Yep. Yeah. Solid fish, man. Shall we weigh her as well? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. It's just a freaking tank, man. I'm so freaking happy right now. A giant fish, man. Yeah. Now we should let her go back here. Beautiful fish, man. Just a freaking beauty. Here she goes. Boom. Boom, baby. Happy man. Great color. <laughs> this day has had it all, man. Crazy day. Absolutely freaking crazy. Oh, 
this is gonna have to be the last fish of the day. I'm not sure what it is, but it's much stronger than the small perch I've caught today. Luckily we have the net ready. Uh, what the hell is this? Either it's a small jack or it's a sander or a huge ass perch. Please don't let go. Please don't do it. Uh, it must be a pike, I think. Oh, yeah, it's a pike. Oh. We're just gonna do it like this. Come on, do daddy. Oh, it's so hard to net by myself. Oh, come on now. Here we go. <laughs> so that means that our new prototypes, this is uh, monkey rib, is approved by perch, sander, pike and even a little roach. That's just too freaking good, man. So remember to subscribe. Remember to give a thumbs up to this video if you like pizza or if you learned anything from this video. But now we're gonna let this baby go back to the water. Catch you next time, buddies.